Google just launched a brand new AI tool that is absolutely incredible. Today, we're going to take a deep dive look into it. And by the end of this video, you very well could be among the tens of thousands of people who are already saying that this is going to be a chat GPT killer. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Josh Roseberg, the AI guy. Today, I am super excited because Google just dropped a bombshell. They introduced Gemini, and we're going to really dive deep into everything that you can do with it starting today, right now. You're going to see just how you can use it in your business. On December 6, 2023, so just a couple days ago from the time I'm recording this, Google and DeepMind unveiled Gemini. The new AI model comes in three flavors. You got Gemini Ultra, Gemini Pro, and Gemini Nano. We got access to Gemini Pro right now, and it is a beast for a wide range of tasks. While Nano is more optimized for mobile devices, it's still really cool though. And Gemini Ultra is coming out in early 2024. Gemini is a complete game changer. It's built as a multimodal AI from the ground up. This means that it can handle text, code, audio, images, and video seamlessly. In contrast, GPT-3 and 4 were built with text in mind that were then later upgraded to handle images and audio. And this is going to come into play big time, as you're going to see just in a couple of minutes from right now. So in some benchmark tests, Gemini Ultra has already outperformed GPT-4 in most cases. It's shown impressive results in reasoning, reading comprehension, and even coding. The only area it lagged slightly in was common sense reasoning and everyday tasks. One of the coolest things about Gemini is how it can understand and interact with visuals and text simultaneously. There are demos where Gemini checks math problems, identifies mistakes, and provides step-by-step -step solutions. It even understands nuances and answers questions on complex tasks. Google has also showcased Gemini's ability in real-time interactions, like identifying objects and responding to changes in an image. Plus, it's multilingual helping with language and learning pronunciation. Now, the big news is that Gemini Pro is available right now. It's integrated into Google's Bard. Bard with Gemini Pro is rolling out globally, and it's set to, to be a very significant upgrade, especially in tasks like understanding, summarizing, and coding. But remember, we're still waiting for Gemini Ultra, which is supposed to be even more powerful. What's also exciting is that Gemini is also coming to smartphones starting with the Pixel 8 Pro. Powering new features like summary generation, smart replies, and messaging apps. Now, a heads up for developers. Gemini Pro will be available via the API starting December 13th, 2023. And for those curious about training data and safety measures, Google is playing it very close to the chest, but it assures that they built Gemini with responsibility and safety at its core. So what does this all mean? Gemini is shaping up to be strong compared to OpenAI's GPT-4. And it's not just about the tech. It's also about how it transforms and interacts with our daily lives. And with Google pushing the boundaries, it's an exciting time for AI enthusiasts and business owners. All right, so let's take a look at some of the capabilities that Gemini has. Uh, these are all directly from Google's demonstration when they unveiled this. So this first one is gonna show you how Gemini can understand something like just what you're drawing. Here we go. Tell me what you see. I see you placing a piece of paper on the table. I see a squiggly line. What about now? The contour lines are smooth and flowing, with no sharp angles or jagged edges. The bird is swimming in the water. It has a long neck and beak. It is a duck. Yes. The duck appears to be blue. This is not a common color for ducks. However, there are some breeds of blue ducks. <laughs> craziest thing about this to me is that there's really no lag. Gemini is interpreting everything that's going on and updating its thought process pretty much in real time. Uh, there might be a very slight delay, but I mean, this is still really impressive. Next, we're going to take a look at how well Gemini can detect motion and changes, even when something is very confusing and moving very fast. You are trying to get me to find the paper ball under the cup. I accept the challenge. The cup to the left. Nice. Now this one absolutely blew my mind. Check out how it can identify musical instruments as they're being drawn and generate music in real time to go along with them. 
I see you're drawing a guitar. You've added an amp. Now it's an electric guitar. We can make some seriously loud music now. Given that you added drums, how about some 80s hair metal? It can even do logic and reasoning problems on the fly. Check this out. Which way should the duck go? Going left leads to a duck, which is a friend. Going right leads to a bear, which is a foe. It is better to make friends than foes, so the duck should go left. <laughs> Smart choice. Before I go, I just wanted to ask for you guys to hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a, a comment below letting me know what you think is the most exciting feature. Now, I'm going to end this video by showcasing just a few more of the incredible features that Gemini Pro can already do right out of the box. So keep watching to, to check all that out. But for now, I will talk to you later. Take care. This is a picture of a crab. That's right. What movie are they acting out here? I think they are acting out the famous bullet time scene from The Matrix. Ooh, nice. What do you think might happen next? The cat is going to jump to the wall and stick the landing. It's going to be a perfect 10. Oh, and it's a miss. It looks like it was just a little too far away. But don't worry. The cat is a natural athlete and it will be back up there in no time. Okay, I've got one more for you. Describe the drawing I made. It is a simple line drawing of the constellation Gemini. You did a good job of capturing the beauty of Gemini. Nice. That's it. I think we're done. The coin should be under the right hand. Hmm. I don't know. The coin is in the left hand using a sleight of hand technique to make it appear as if the coin has disappeared.